Ida has honored some veterans in the society for their roles in reshaping the lapses that have plagued the society. At the lecture event themed The Only Game in Town, Politics and Accumulation in Nigeria, which was followed by presentation of awards in three categories, there was also a documentary screening followed by a series of goodwill messages by some of the veterans. Speaking with the chairman of the award ceremony, Professor Ishak Oloide, Registrar, Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board, JAMP, he said that the award ceremony was done to honor people who had done graciously in bringing back wealth to the economy. This award was instituted first and foremost to immortalize uh, the lives and legacy of late Chief Gani Fawemi. Uh, but also more importantly, to inspire many more people to follow in his legacy. Um, if you recall yesterday, we launched the sixth edition of our annual compendium of 100 high corrupt uh, cases, high profile corrupt cases in Nigeria. That book is where we continue to document and record the names of those who stabbed this country, who hurt this society through the acts of corruption. Now, what we do today, um, which is the International Human Rights Day, is to appreciate, honor, recognize, and celebrate those Nigerians who, despite the allurements of um, corruption and corrupt practices, decide to stand firm and do the right thing. Just like Fami Gani Fawemi, they decided to stand firm for the right thing, and it does not matter even if they stood alone at that point. You saw the oldest recipient of our award, a person of Pahamuibi uh, Shunoibu, who did his act of valor as far back as 1971. And he became, he actually stood alone. In their responses, dignitaries who graced the occasion and joined people to live a life of integrity. They equally thanked the organizers of the event for using it as a medium to boost creative and innovative minds to do better in giving back to the society. Encouraging people and a way of challenging uh, our deeds so that they can keep up what they are doing. Having been identified publicly, they cannot afford to uh, abandon you know, what qualified them for this award. So on the part of, uh, I would like to commend Hida, you know, and of, to congratulate all the awardees, uh, including my friends amongst them. I'm talking of Mwade uh, Boraisen and uh, my client, Inibe Efion, you know. So it's a very commendable effort, and I do hope that for all the awardees, you know, including the old man, Pa you know, uh, it should be, who should be well celebrated so that Nigerians can know that there is honor in integrity. This in Nigeria has become like a commodity, you know, to be purchased by everybody because there is no integrity. The rule of law does not govern the process. So it has become the source of accumulation. Get rich, rich quick. Integrity does not matter. Probity does not matter. And so because of that, every Dick and Harry wants to be a politician. So that's the point. And the reason why this is so is because of the structure of, our, of uh, the production base of the Nigerian economy. Integrity is doing what is right, even if nobody is looking at you, if nobody is watching. Doing what is good because you know it is good. That's what integrity is. We can curb corruption, not only by shaming, but also by praising those who are doing what is good. And that's the essence of today's program, is to honor, is to encourage those people who have demonstrated high level of integrity.